So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create this tree foliage. Uh, it's, it's a low poly asset, um, perfect for games. Um, so this is more about the leaves than the actual tree. Um, for the tree, I just used a plugin called DP Tree. I'll post a link on the video here. There's a manual um, which goes through how to create the tree itself. So this is, as I say, this is more about the kind of stylized leaves. So if I pop into Modeler, uh, this is the tree I created. Um, really simple to do. And what it also does when it creates a tree, you'll see it creates a couple of weight maps, which we'll be using later. Um, kind of useful. So what I've also done is create uh, a kind of branch texture sort of a quick paint in Photoshop and that's just a, a single poly there so a, a lot of these tutorials I think they kind of decorate the tree with single leaves and it looks pretty cool but for games we don't want thousands and thousands of polys so I've kind of made one poly with uh, the branch on it so once you're at this stage you can model this by hand of course but DP tree makes it so easy so uh, once you're at this stage, pop over to layout and we've got our tree and we've also got our leaf object. So I select the tree and I'm just going to hit P for properties and I'm going to add an instance. Uh, okay, so I'm going to add the object, which is just the leaves. And I'm going to pop that on points. So you can see that the leaves are starting to grow. So we'll put those on uh, textured shaded solid so we can see them. So at the moment, there's no rotation or anything, and we can set the amount here. So I'm just going to click max points and that's, that basically uses the points to generate the uh, the foliage. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck in some quick settings here. So I'm just going to set the, the scale uniform across the whole thing. So let's go for something like 250. And so I'll just turn around at the minute, you'll see that that's everything's facing the same way it's not really looking great so we'll just go on to rotation leave alignment at on item and we'll start giving it some random rotations now so I'll just think 180 in minus 180 in heading plus 180 in the max heading and then we'll just chuck in some random values here shoving these in quickly so you can see there as we rotate around the tree now that's looking pretty neat so if we come up to uh, the weight section here and hit T for texture we can make use of uh, gradient and the weight map that DP tree are created so if I just select the the branch fineness and I will just chuck in key there, make that stepped, and I will invert the values. See as I move this here now, we can kind of control at the level that the growth happens. So let's put this one as linear. So we've got a kind of bit of fall off there. So as I shift these up and down, you can see how that affects the growth. And that looks okay at the minute, really. Um, so let's just try pushing the scale a little bit more. 
I mean, you can, of course, come in and randomize this. You can give it random scales if you like. So anything between 250 and 350, maybe. Just to break that up a little bit. You can see how quick that is just to dress your tree there. And what we've we got, 252 polys on that at the moment. So come in and tweak till your heart's content on this but uh, this is kind of more about getting this into a game state really so what i did then is there's a brilliant little plugin uh, called baked selected instances on the lightweight 3d plugin section uh, so you can go in download that and you can literally just select the tool and you can see here it's just baking all instances and now these are actual geometry which is really really useful so that looks exactly the same as it as it did before but now those kind of are baked so next thing to do is you can see here in my scene editor you can see we've got all these leaves separate objects which isn't great especially for games so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove everything i don't need from this scene so it's going to cut out some of these knolls and i'm going to take out that original leaf we've got the tree and all of the leaves so now i'm just going to export an fbx so export models and materials okay and then when we come over to modeler i'm going to just open the export and that's going to ask me if i want to load everything into separate layers so i'm just going to ignore that and hit continue and then we have all of our objects on the same layer which is great so if you look in the surface editor it's given us a a surface for each and every leaf which isn't ideal so I'm going to come into the polygon stats you can see here I've got default one which is my bark so I'm just going to select that and hide the polys and then I'm just going to hit Q with nothing selected so that's going to select everything name them leaves okay and now that's just giving me two surfaces so I've still got my old tree with my uh, leaf texture open in the background there. So I'll just copy that and paste that into my uh, new leaf surface. So I can save that. And now send that back to layout. You can see there we've got two identical trees. <laughs> which are pretty low poly i mean that's uh what 757 polys not too bad for a kind of high high detail looking tree so there we are